At George Spearnock's South Brunswick home, they're redhead hens, so the owner gave them names like Eileen, Maureen, Colleen. You get it. They started as pets, but now the humans are dependent. I'm happy to add the chickens because we get eggs every day. Now that the avian flu sent prices to record highs and it's only supposed to get worse, Spearnock is happy he's saving money. He also says there's something money can't buy. When you break open an egg that's from the store and you compare it to an egg that's fresh, freshly laid, the yolk is so yellow and so the egg is so perfect and you can taste the difference. In shopping center riddled Paramus, you may not expect a chicken coop, but that's exactly what In San Chung has. She started raising them in April and was inspired after visits to her daughter. My daughter lives in New Hampshire. Whenever I go there, every Saturday, they have a local market and they're selling whole things that they made and things it was so fun and nice. Professor Bill Lubick at the Rutgers Cooperative Extension says more people want to have control of where their food comes from. He also says most owners spend the time and resource to give them the best care. Many of these people are growing chickens or raising chickens organically. They're trying to raise a healthy bird um, and because they're isolated in most cases, you don't have a lot of chickens in terms of size then there's less chance of uh, other diseases. Chung doesn't think she'll go back to store-bought eggs once her hens start laying. The first eggs should come any day now. I'm checking every day. <laughs> Karen Lee, News 12, New Jersey.